Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a top five favorites for you guys, sharing with you all of my current favorites from the drugstore in the foundation department. So I really wanted to do this video for you guys because lately I've been finding that my most used or most go-to holy grail, whatever you want to call it, foundations have been from the drugstore. And I know a lot of times when we watch people on YouTube or when we watch the things that people post on Instagram, a lot of times it can be more high-end products. And I just wanted to share with you guys that a lot of these drugstore brands are affiliated with or are sister companies to higher-end brands. And so the product that they actually create is very high-end. It's very comparable to high-end foundation. So lately, I mean, my most used foundations have been from the drugstore. So I thought it would be very appropriate for me to jump on here and share a couple of those with you so that if you are looking for an affordable foundation or if you have a skin tone that is similar to mine and you are looking for a foundation from the drugstore that will match you or maybe close to your skin tone, I think that these are all really, really amazing choices. So if you would like to see what my current top five favorite foundations are from the drugstore, then please keep watching. So if you are new to my channel, I think the first thing that you should know is my skin type because that is going to kind of show through as I tell you guys my favorite foundations as far as the types of foundations that I purchase, the finishes that I prefer, all of that kind of stuff is very much a result of my particular skin type. So if you are new to my channel, my skin type is oily and I am very, very oily. I am not combination. I'm not any of that other stuff. I'm just straight up oily. Like... My entire face, it's not like any particular parts of my face, just my whole entire face is just oily. So my T-zone, especially my cheek area, I also have very large pores. So all of the typical things that you think of when you think of someone who's very oily, that is me. And I will go ahead and mention too that with all of these foundations, I do always wear a primer. So if you have been watching my videos, you're probably very familiar with the primers that I prefer. And I have been thinking about doing a top five or a top favorite, you know, must have primers for oily skin. So if you're interested in seeing a video like that, just let me know in the comments down below. But I did just want to mention that I do not wear any of these foundations by themselves. I always prep my skin with a primer. And then of course, the types of foundations that I purchase do cater more towards oily skin. So if you have been following my channel for a while, this very first foundation that I'm about to share with you will not come as any surprise. And it is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. I purchased mine in the the color classic tan and this is my number one favorite foundation from the drugstore so if you have very very oily skin and you want a recommendation from me of which foundation I would hands down recommend to you from the drugstore it would be this one I did do a full review and demo on this foundation when it first came out so I will find that video for you and link it if you're interested in checking out a more detailed thorough review of this particular foundation but like I said it's hands down my absolute favorite it is more on the higher end or expensive end of drugstore foundations but I have repurchased this definitely more than three times since it's been out and it never disappoints me it controls my oil more than any of these other foundations that I'm about to show you and the finish of it is just beautiful flawless perfection and all of the other products that I apply on top of this foundation apply it beautifully smoothly I don't have any issues with it breaking up or being choppy or anything like that this foundation is everything so definitely have to share this as my number one because it is my number one and definitely the one that I I would recommend at the top of the list. I could go on and on and on, but again, I'll link the review I did on this foundation so that you can check out a little bit more information about my thoughts on this one, but I love it. So the next foundation that I want to share with you guys is actually a newer favorite for me, and it is the Maybelline Dream Velvet Soft Matte Hydrating Foundation. This one I have in the color Caramel, and the very first time that I tried this out, when I first put it on my skin, I was like, oh no, this is going to be way too dark for me, because when I first put it on my skin. If you watch my tutorials, you know that I like to just put the foundation on my skin and then I go in and I blend it out with a brush. So when I first put that first swipe of foundation on my skin, I was like, oh, it's going to be too dark. But once I actually blended it out and applied my concealer and setting powder and everything, it matches me 
perfectly. I really like this one because it is a little bit of a thicker consistency and I have heard um, some other YouTubers compare this to the Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation which I have not personally tried but the consistency of this one is a little bit thicker even thicker than the L'Oreal Infallible if you've tried that one out this one is a little bit thicker than that. So with this one a little does go a long way and I really love that it provides a really nice full and buildable coverage. So I guess medium to full but buildable to full coverage and for me I am all about that full coverage life if I'm gonna wear a foundation I want it to be full coverage I'm either full face makeup or no makeup at all so I really love that this has a really nice medium to full coverage finish it does a great job of controlling my oil along with the primers of course that I apply underneath and the products that I apply on top apply really beautifully with this as well so this is another one a newer favorite that I have really really been loving from Maybelline. So the next drugstore foundation that I want to share with you guys is another foundation from Maybelline and this one is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. Now I'm sure that this one is not a new one to most of you guys but this is another one that I really love and I have mine in the shade 330 Toffee Caramel and I really like this one for days when I want a little bit of a lighter more hydrating finish. This one is not as matte as the two that I just mentioned to you previously, but it does match my skin tone perfectly. And a lot of times I will wear this one on its own, of course, along with primers underneath. But sometimes I like to also mix this one with the L'Oreal Infallible Foundation. And I think the two of these are definitely a match made in heaven because they give perfect coverage and they do a great job together of controlling my oil. But this one would be a great one if you are oily or if you're a combination, if you're not like super, super oily like me, but you still want a foundation that's going to help to control oil, but you may have other areas on your face that um, are normal or maybe some areas that are dry. This would be a foundation that I would recommend because it does a great job of controlling oil on your skin, but it doesn't dry you out. So again, really love this one. This one's also really great if you're kind of more on a budget and you want to save a, you know, an extra dollar or two. This one would be great because it is a little less expensive than the infallible one. So great foundation. Love, love, love it. Great for oily and even normal to oily combination skin type. So the next foundation that I want to share with you is actually a foundation that I have been using for a really, really long time. And it is the Revlon Color Stay Makeup. And this one actually comes in two different finishes. So if you don't have oily skin, it does come in a like normal to dry finish. But the one that I have is for a combination to oily skin. The color that I have is in the shade Caramel. I'm pretty sure, yes. The color that I have is in the shade Caramel. Now this foundation in particular, it is a little bit too dark for me. So a lot of times I do have to mix this with other lighter, slightly lighter foundations just to help to kind of create that perfect match for my skin tone. But I do really love the finish of this one. And this one is also another one that is not super, super matte. But I do find that when I combine this with other foundations, when I wear a really good primer underneath, when I set it really well, it does do a great job of controlling my oil and keeping my skin looking flawless throughout the day. So again, this is another one that I really, really love. And if you are into making concoctions with your foundations like I am, this is a great one for mixing with other foundations. So again, this one is the Revlon Color Stay foundation. So the next foundation that I have to share with you guys is a foundation that I feel like has literally been around forever and I would almost be willing to say that everyone has at least tried this foundation out once and it is the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Makeup. I do have this in two shades. I have it in Classic Tan which is usually the one that I use and then I also have it in Cream Cafe. And this pump that I have on here is from MAC and these pumps fit a ton of foundation. So if you have a foundation that doesn't have a pump, the one from MAC is really, really great. But I love these foundations. Now I will say they're not amazing for controlling oil, but the finish of them is just beautiful. I also really love, again, mixing this foundation with other foundations that may be a little too dark for me. These are really great for that as well. But I do find with these that if I, again, prep my face, prime my face, and just really get my skin ready for the foundation, it does do a really great job of controlling oil throughout the day. Now, of course, it doesn't do as great as some of the other foundations that are specifically formulated for controlling oil, but I do really love this foundation because it just 
gives my skin such a beautiful, just hydrated, radiant look to it. And the other reason that I really love this foundation is because the color range is hands down possibly the best color range at the drugstore, period. A lot of times being a woman of color, I find that when I go into the drugstore or when I go into any store, to be perfectly honest, and I want to purchase a foundation, it can be very hard to find a foundation that matches my skin tone spot on. A lot of times there will be tons of shades that are too light for me, and then I have like two, three, maybe four if I'm lucky shades to kind of choose from, and I may end up having to buy two foundations and mix and match them, which can really be just inconvenient. So this is definitely a foundation that I have to give L'Oreal all the props because the color range on this is amazing. They really, really do have a color for every skin tone, every complexion, every undertone. They have them split up with neutral, warm, and cool undertones. And I just think they really killed it with this foundation. They considered all types of complexions, all types of women, all types of skin tones. And I just really appreciate that about L'Oreal with this foundation. Also, it is a pretty affordable foundation as well. I will try to list the prices and stuff throughout the video for you guys. Of course, depending on where you get it, the prices will vary, but I do think that they tried to make this a very affordable foundation. And this was the first foundation that I ever purchased when I first started wearing makeup, like when I was in high school. This was the first foundation that I purchased and that I used to wear. So this is like an OG foundation for me. It doesn't do an amazing job of controlling oil all the time, but I always go back to it because it just has a special place in my heart. It's the first one I ever purchased, like I said. And when I, you know, put it with the right primers and all of that kind of stuff, it does, you know, I can make it work for my skin tone. So definitely recommend this one if you're looking for a foundation that's going to match your skin tone, if you have a skin tone similar to mine, if you're looking for something affordable. And also too, if you're not super, super oily and you're looking for something to control the oil in the areas you need it to, but to give you hydration in other areas, this would definitely be one that I would recommend. Alright guys, so that is all that I have for you for this video of my top five favorite foundations from the drugstore. I know that a lot of them kind of fell within the same brand, but honestly, in my opinion, Maybelline and L'Oreal are my favorite brands from the drugstore. They can do no wrong in my eyes, and when it comes to foundations, they never let me down. So I hope that you guys found this video helpful. If you have oily skin especially, I hope that you found this helpful. I hope that it gave you some tips and ideas of foundations that you can try out to help you control your oil throughout the day. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If there are any other top five or top 10 type videos that you would like to see from me, feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. And if you are new to my channel, make sure that you subscribe on your way out so that you can stay up to date on all of my future videos. I will also leave a link down below my Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. So feel free to follow me on those social media platforms as well. And I don't think I have anything else to say. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. And I hope to see you very soon in my next one. Bye.